Hello, boys and girls. How's your evening going today? Today is Friday. Today is Friday, July the 9th, 2021. Good evening. Let's see what we're going to read out of my My Story Book Library. Nighttime Funnies. Of the seven o'clock, and some of us children do go to bed at seven. Nighttime Bunny. This story is about a little bunny who do not want to go to bed. He wants to venture into the dark to see what the other animals are doing. This theory is written by Melody Joyce, illustrated by James Newman Grace. Let's get started. Deep in the wood, in a snuggly barrel, Hungry Bunny was having his supper. It was nearly bedtime, and he was slurping the last of his delicious carrot soup. Mommy. Do all the animals in the woods go to bed when it gets dark? asked Bunny. No, said Mommy. Some of them sleep during the day and wake up at night. Bunny thought being awake at night sounded very exciting. Please, can I see the animals that come out at night? He asked. I want to be a nighttime bunny. Mommy knitting needles click and clack. Okay, she said, putting her needles and knitting down. Let's go for a walk together to see the nighttime animals. Bunny couldn't wait to go on his nighttime adventure, and he bounced out of the barrel outside the sunset sky. It was an orange and pink. Keep close, Mommy said as she closed the front door. We need to stick together. Bunny hopped close to Mommy for a while, but then he spotted something strange. With a hoppity hop, he went over to investigate. There lying among the flowers was a strange ball of prickles. Bunny crouched down and sniffed the prickle thing. Suddenly it uncurled and face and four paws was popped out. And a little voice squeaked, Hello, I'm a hedgehog. The hedgehog began to roly poly around on the ground. And Bunny joined in. This is fun, he <laughs> good girl. Then Bunny rolled into Hedgehog and pricked his paw on the prickets. Ouch! That hurts, cried Bunny. You know, the Hedgehog have very sharp points. Mommy rubbed Bunny's paw. Never mind, she said, leading Bunny along the woodland path. Soon they came to a little pond where a sleeping duck tucked his beak under his wings. The night was full of strange noises. There were hoops and flutters and scratches and barks. What are those noises? asked Bunny nervously. They are night animals, replied Mommy. They are nothing to be afraid of. Suddenly, a great dark shape swooped past Bunny. It was big and feathery and made strange noises. Swoosh! Woo! Little, little Bunny dived into a patch of grass. Mommy is a monster, he cried. Don't worry, Bunny, said Mommy. It's just the night owl. He won't hurt you. Look at the large owl. See how big it is? Yeah. 
Bunny wasn't listening to mommy. He ran, hoppity hop hop, along the shadowy woodland path. Suddenly, something black and white and furry came out of a hole. Thump, bunny, bump, straight into it. Ouch! cried a very grumpy badger. Watch where you're going. Bunny rubbed his sore nose. His little ears drooped and he felt sad. The nighttime animal didn't seem friendly at all. Just then, little fluttery bats flew out. Bunny thought they looked very funny. They wheezed between his ears and round his fluffy white tail. Bunny giggled and chased them around and round. Where are you, Mommy called Bunny from the wood. Bunny felt so dizzy he didn't know which way was up. He tried to hop, but he wibbled and wobbled until he felt dumped right on his bottom. Then between the trees, there was a flash of orange. Something stepped out into the moonlight. It was a big, red, bushy-tailed fox. Well, if it isn't a little bunny, she said, said the sly fox, grinning, what are you doing out all alone at this time of night? Suddenly, Mommy hopped out from the trees. He's being a nighttime bunny, she cried. She frightened Fox. He leaped off into the woods, and Mommy and Bunny were alone again. You must have run off like that again, Bunny, said Mommy. Can we go home? No, asked the bunny sleepily. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Okay, said Mommy, giving him a cuddle. Let's go home. I'll tuck you up so you're snugly and warm. And his cozy bunny bed inside the snuggly barrel. Bunny thought about everything he seen in the wood that night. He yawned, oh, a little and pulled his blanket up to his chin. I think I prefer being in daytime, Bunny, he said. Mommy smiled and kissed him on the forehead and turned off his bedside light. Sweet dreams, my little bunny. Here for children, when you're with your mom, whether it's the grocery store, the woods, the mall, keep it with your mommy. Do not walk away. Stay with your parents, mother or father. Good evening. Until I see you next time, I hope you enjoyed this story. So long. Good night. And I love you all. Bye-bye.